Hello once more from Vietnam. So it's now day four, I think, and yeah, we're no longer in Mukang Chai. We're now in Sapa, which is a little farther north. And yeah, this is basically part two of my travels uh, through Vietnam. So we're staying over there in this hotel at the horizon. I'm not sure if you can see, but I'll later show you the hotel. But the hotel is not the reason I'm here. It's the location of the hotel. So if you see, all those rice paddies here, the mountains in the background, and I could just drive here with a bicycle from the hotel. So I have to admit the hotel is not quite cheap, but for such views, I think it was worth it. And yeah, I'll later show you the hotel, but first I show you the photo I'm taking. So the sun is quite high still, but this doesn't bother me because the colors look so vibrant now. And yeah, I just want to take a few photos with the sun out because I don't know the next day is going to be rain. And let me show you the photo. So basically the yellow rice in the foreground, then the view down there with the mountains in the back and with the sun to the side, I have a little problem. So I get lens flares easily. And what I can do when I take the photo, I just, if you look here, you see my shadow and the shadow of the camera. And when I take a photo, I just go there. So my shadow covers the camera and I just see it. So it's easy to avoid lens flares. Just a little trick. So just watch where the shadow of your camera falls and then just put your shadow in between. Yeah, and now I'm gonna take a few photos, explore a bit more and yeah, later I'll show you also the hotel, which has some nice views also, but um, I think this view here already kind of the best ones I, I've seen so far. So pretty stoked right now. Good morning from Vietnam. It's now my second day here in Sapa and day six in Vietnam. And yeah, you seen the video. This morning I made quite a rookie mistake. So sunrise around here is at 5.45 and I got up just half an hour before sunrise. I was expecting to take a bike to this location here, but unfortunately the bike rental or the place where I can get the bike at the hotel was still closed so I had to walk here and it's not far but it kind of yeah, uh, overturned my plans and I nearly missed the light so I definitely missed the nice pink light I'm not sure if you saw it in the video but as I looked out of the window it was already glowing and I was kind of yeah, disappointed that for one time I slept in you could kind of say sleep in if I just get up half an hour before sunrise normally I do at least one hour. So that's a lesson for the next days. Always get up early because you never know what to get. So I'm here at this location, which I at least scouted yesterday. So um, aside from having to run to this point, I knew exactly where to set up my camera. And uh, this was a big plus. Otherwise I would have missed this uh, show completely. And it's still looking nice. So the sky is glowing and the sun will be up over there as it breaks through the clouds, hopefully. And then the rice paddies here in front of me will hopefully begin to glow and yeah, should look nice. If the clouds get a little higher in the distance, I won't get sun this morning, but I'll just wait and see now. Now that I'm here, I have to cool down a bit. So at this time here in Sapa, it's still quite cool. So we have maybe 22 degrees, but in the afternoon yesterday when I was taking the other photo and the sun was burning, it was around 30 and really hot and 
So it's really nice to be out in the morning and I'll do so the following days. And yeah, let's see what the weather brings. Actually, in this location, I think I could deal with anything, anything other than complete gray flat skies. But if you have rain in this valley, the rain clears, we have fog down there. If it's rain and the sun is there, I could use a rainbow or something. So I'm just rambling now and yeah. Let's just see what the next days bring, but now I have to take some photos. So currently the camera is on time-lapse mode, so interval timer. So I'm trying to get the transition into the light here. And yeah, hopefully I can show you something soon. But for now, I'm gonna enjoy the sunrise a bit and cool down. So I think I got the photo or a photo. It's not exactly what I was hoping for, but it's a good start. So it's my first morning here. I have two more and yeah, hopefully the next days will also yield some nice photos here. What I'm not doing, I, I'm taking a little walk down the valley just to see what else there is. So it's always good after you take your sunrise photo. Just use the time and yeah, check out a few other areas. Maybe you find something. So this is what I'm normally doing and what I'm doing now. And afterwards I'll head back to the hotel. Um, yeah, but maybe I want to talk about the right time to visit Sapa because this was something I was doing a lot of research on before my travels to Vietnam. So what I wanted to photograph were the rice paddies and yeah, having them in greens and yellows. And First we went to Mukang Chai and I already showed you some photos from there. And you've seen there, the rice paddies were mostly still green. So the harvest is still one or two weeks away. But here in Sapa, the rice paddies are already yellow. And in this valley near the Eco Lodge where we're staying, some of them are already harvested. So we have September the 6th now. And yeah, if you want to photograph the rice paddies during harvest you really have to come here the first half of September and yeah I was always reading September 15th is harvest but if I would be here in maybe 10 days I'm sure many of those terraces here in this valley would already be harvested and yeah the photo subjects where we would be gone so always keep that in mind if you want to visit Sapa don't come too late and also there is surely a little variance each season so yeah if you want to be on the safe side in my opinion I'd say also beginning of September because the worst that can happen is that the rice paddies are still green and <laughs> that's really not too bad it's much more yeah, bad for me at least if they are gone so something to keep in mind if you're planning a visit to Sapa or yeah, Mukang Chai you now know I was here first half of September and yeah if you want to go and have similar conditions you might want to plan the same time but now let's continue exploring
Good evening. So it's now day three here in Sapa. It's our last evening here and yeah, I was just about to take a bicycle and drive over to the other side of the valley for sunset when I saw this nice side light on the rice terraces. And the good thing is with our room here, I can just set up right here on the terrace and yeah, take a few photos. The only problem I'm having is I only have a wide angle lens and a tele lens and what I need here is something in between so 50 millimeters would be ideal but what I just do is I take the photos anyway so I'm zoomed in to 35 millimeters and I'll just crop in a little bit so this will still give me enough megapixels in the end and yeah I'm now taking a few photos and then I'm off to the other side of the valley where we did some scouting today and where I found some yeah, some nice compositions and if I'm lucky and get a, get a good sky then this could look nice. So wish me luck and yeah now I finish shooting this scene. So I've now driven over to the other side of the valley and yeah I was on my way to the photo spot I had scouted earlier today but yeah, when I came here and started to walk down to this spot I saw this area here which looked even better because I have a very good view of this beautiful mountain and the clouds coming over and there's some really sweet light and I just missed the sun by maybe 10 minutes. But that's okay, I'm here a little longer, hoping for some glowing sky later. But now, just look at this, how awesome. Here we have still some rice in the foreground. Down there, it's all already harvested. And if there's some colorful sky later, it will reflect in those pools down there or on those puddles. And also what's nice, when they're doing harvest and yeah, getting the rice off those, yeah, stems or leaves what's left over they burn it and this adds kind of the to the atmosphere here so i have some foaming fires here on this side and yeah when the sun shines through this looks just nice and yeah i'm, I'm really glad i found this spot here and i'm just taking a photo shouldn't forget to take photos while i'm talking to you <laughs> yeah so maybe quickly for my setup as usual, I'm using two GND filters. So again, the 0 0.6 soft and hard GND from Kase. Also have a polarizer, but yeah, it doesn't matter much. I'm shooting directly into the sun here. So I think I'll remove it later. Um, I have my cable release because my setup is not on such stable ground here. So I have to be careful when I release the shutter so I don't have any shake. Otherwise, fairly simple, doing bracketing to get the dynamic range doing focus stacking, background, foreground, and yeah, that's really it. Now it's just waiting and hoping for something to happen in the sky and hopefully some colorful photo.